In this video, we are going to show you the cleanup process of the Nathaniel Orr family plot, which resides in the Stillicum Masonic Cemetery. Stillicum is the oldest incorporated town in Washington State, founded in 1854. Nathaniel Orr was a Virginian who came to Stillicum in September of 1852. Nathaniel was a very active citizen in Stillicum and had many talents. Some of his various professions included being a carpenter, coffin maker, wagon maker, and orchardist. Nathaniel was one of the original members of the Stillicum Library Association, school clerk, and served in Company D, 1st Regiment of the Washington Volunteers. The Nathaniel Orr home was first constructed as a wagon shop, but was converted into a home in 1868 when Nathaniel married Emma Thompson of Victoria. His son Glenn sold the house to the Stillicum Historical Museum Association in 1974. The orchard that Nathaniel planted over a century ago still produces cherries, apples, pears, and plums as it did during territorial times. Nathaniel Orr's second wagon shop, with original tools, still stands today and can be viewed by Stillicum tourists as part of the Stillicum Museum located next to the Orr family home. Nathaniel Orr passed away in 1896. His body was laid to rest at the Stillicum Masonic Cemetery in the Orr family plot. The Stillicum Masonic Cemetery is located on 11 acres of land that Nathaniel Orr originally purchased and eventually sold to the Stillicum Masonic Lodge. The gravestones are very spread out, with the plots being systematically located where each particular mason sat in the Masonic Lodge. The Orr family plot is located in the very back of the cemetery underneath a patch of trees. Nathaniel and Emma had eight children, all of whom are buried in the Orr family plot. Louis Selden Orr, Emma Jane Orr, Nathaniel George Orr, Mary Frances Orr, David Edward Orr, Glenn Thompson Orr, Grover Arthur Orr, and John William Orr. Only three survived their parents, those being... Nathaniel George Orr, who married wife Nina Terry, Mary Frances Orr, and Glenn Thompson Orr, who married wife Bertha May Talbert. There was only one grandchild, Warren Hope Orr, who married Helen Kenyon, and no surviving great-grandchildren. Lois Jane Orr died very young. Unfortunately, over the years with no living descendants to upkeep the site, the Orr family plot had become overgrown with biological growth such as moss, lichens, branches, and pine needles. I couldn't stand seeing the resting place of this historic figure of Stillicum looking like this, so I decided to organize a small group of volunteers to clear out the organic debris and clean all of the Orr family gravestones with D2 Biological Cleaning Solution. I've been cleaning hundreds of gravestones at various cemeteries across the state of Washington since 2018 as a hobby and volunteer service. D2 Biological Solution is highly effective for removing stains caused by mold, mildew, algae, lichens, and air pollutants. Tested and used by the Department of Veterans Affairs and the National Park Service, D2 is a biodegradable cleaner that is pH neutral and contains no salts, bleach, or acids. It is the only approved gravestone cleaning solution used at Arlington National Cemetery and at historic monuments in Washington, D.C. I purchased D2 and other gravestone cleaning supplies exclusively from the Atlas Preservation website. So, after assembling a small team of volunteers, we spent a few hours in the summer to meet at the Nathaniel Orr family plot at the Stillicum Masonic Cemetery to do a cleanup of the site. Here's a time-lapse video of the cleanup project. In less than two hours, we were able to remove all of the organic material and disposed of it in over a dozen 42-gallon contractor bags. One of the difficulties with this old cemetery is that there are no water access points on the grounds, so all water used for cleaning was brought in using 5-gallon buckets. 
Now that the concrete slab has been completely cleared, it will be much easier to keep it from building up again using a blower to remove any fallen debris and doing this on a more regular basis. All of the gravestones have been washed and the D2 biological solution has been applied to it. D2 will remove all of the biological growth that is located in the porous stone over a period of 100 days. Here's what each Orr family gravestone looks like before and after the cleanup. I'm very happy with how this cleanup turned out and I'm grateful to the help that I received from my small crew of helpers. I am also thankful to have received permission from the Masons to access this private cemetery in order to clean these historic monuments as a volunteer service for the community. My family was raised in Stillicum on my mother's side and I'd like to think that if my grandfather, who was also a very active citizen in the town of Stillicum, were still alive today that he would think it was cool that I was working on this restoration project. We're glad that the Nathaniel Orr gravesite now looks clean again to better honor his contributions to this historic town. There are many more historic figures of the town of Stillicum who are buried at the Masonic Cemetery, such as Thomas Chambers, E.R. Rogers, and Captain Salter. I'll be cleaning all of these gravestones over the next few months and will document the cleaning process for those as well. Until then, rest in peace, Nathaniel Orr and family. You are gone, but not forgotten. <laughs>